Hi everyone, Top Capable Channel here. So if you pick up your iPhone and you find it stuck in a boot loop, this means that your iPhone is trying to reboot, but it can't actually boot up. It's happening to my iPhone 13 acting like it was rebooting but just going into the endless reboot. So I want to show you exactly how you can get out of boot loop in a simple step-by-step -step process. Alright, what is causing this boot loop? This is either the iOS update that has failed, or the jailbreak that is crashing the device, or other unexpected issues you might encounter that make the iPhone get caught in that boot circle. Now let's see how to get iPhone out of the boot loop you're stuck in right now. Okay, what we can do firstly if you're just stuck on boot loop is perform a hard reboot. It's also called the force restart. This is a true lifesaver because it doesn't affect anything on your phone. No data loss, not requiring a firmware update, and no restoring. So if you hate to lose your data, or not wanting to updating firmware or restoring, trying a hard reboot should bring a new life to your device. The process is slightly varied from the device you have. Like the iPhone 6s or earlier, pressing both the power button and home button can kick off a hard reboot. Then for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, it should be the combinations of volume down button and power button. And for iPhone 8, iPhone 10, or any other newer iPhone, you need to go a little faster with the volume up down and side button until the Apple logo show up. So I'm gonna show you this on my iPhone 13 that's stuck on endless reboot. Do this quickly. Okay, press and release volume up button, press and release volume down button, then press and hold side button. Keep the side button held down and you guys will see the screen flashing and turning black. The device is shutting down now. Wait for a few seconds and the Apple logo appears. It doesn't flash at this moment. The means that your device stops randomly booting up stuck in the boot loop and circling from Apple logo and black screen. It's of a good sign and your iPhone should restart as normal with any data intact. No update of firmware and no restore in this force restart process. Sometimes the forced restarting method doesn't work at the first couple of times, but if you keep on trying for more times, it should get your phone out of the boot loop and to turn it back on. Some guys told me that they spent couple of hours and their phone was able to shut down and restart. So be patient and calm down to do this. Alright, we come to method number 2, get out of boot loop using iTunes. It might be a useful tip if the iPhone goes back into a reboot loop no matter how many times I've tried on a hard reboot. But this will update your iPhone to later iOS firmware, and in a worse situation, you will meet some errors and lose your phone data. To get this to work, we're gonna first connect your iPhone that goes back into boot loop phase to your computer using the original Apple Lightning cable. After you guys doing this, put the device into recovery mode. The process is very similar to the hard reboot. Use the button combinations just mentioned in the method 1 for each iPhone model, and hold down for a few more seconds even the Apple logo flashes on again. Now, recovery mode screen should show up identified as a lightning cable and a laptop. If have no idea doing this, check out the link in the description below. Now that the phone is in recovery mode, open iTunes on your computer. Right after that, iTunes gives you a dialog box guiding you to update or restore the phone. If you don't want to risk at a data loss, click update to proceed. iTunes is now downloading the firmware from Apple server and installing it on your phone. On the iPhone screen, it displays with an Apple logo and progress bar. The phone is not trying to boot up switching from the Apple logo screen to the blank black screen. It takes a lot of time to boot back up with the latest version of iOS update installed. Hope your iPhone stops the boot loop by updating with iTunes. If iTunes cannot get out of due to some unknown errors, consider using iOS system recovery from AppGeeker. With its easy to use and safe features, you're able to out of the boot loop in a few minutes. It will update the phone but not delete your data. I've left the download link in the description right below this video. You can check it out there if you're interested in it. So much about how you guys getting out of an iPhone boot loop. Again, the hard reboot could kick it out of the endless loop, and it's free. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do like and subscribe. I hope this has fixed the problem for yourself. If you have any more questions please do leave a comment. All the best with your iPhone and see you in the next video.